Good evening. The Pittsburgh Steelers were back to practice on Wednesday afternoon with number eight getting first team reps. Jet 24's Mike Fenner has more from the Black and Gold Nation. The Kenny Pickett era has officially begun in Pittsburgh with a former Pitt star set to make his first NFL start Sunday at the Bills. For a Steelers offense that struggled to score points, it's all about building off an up and down second half debut in week four against the Jets for the rookie signal caller. I was happy with the decisions I made. Um, obviously, there's always things to learn from. You, want, you know, you strive to be perfect, but there's always going to be things you can take away. Um, I feel like I took away the right things and I'm going to use it um, going into this week. While it's a dramatic change under center moving forward, the Steelers offensive line knows it must keep the rookie quarterback upright as it's business as usual up front just with a bit of a spark from number eight. I think it's, uh, it's a little bit of responsibility on me to, to help Kenny along and, and kind of be of assistance to him, whatever he needs from me and, and from us up front. Defensively, facing a Bills unit that's averaging nearly 29 points per game and an offense that's never out of it, Pittsburgh's preparation, much like a year ago in a season opening win in Orchard Park, will be key. Very crucial. Um, we, we know Buffalo's a high-powered offense. Um, they have guys in every position on the offensive side, so we have to make sure we do our part on the defensive side to uh, uh, to minimize those guys and capitalize on uh, and make the plays when they're there. That's what makes it challenging for them. Not only do you have to stop all, of, all the weapons that they have, but you also got to stop his mobility. And so I think we got to be a disciplined group uh, starting up front. I was there for four years, um, but I know they, they change the schemes a lot too. So you never know what to expect. The Steelers look to avoid a fourth straight loss as a two touchdown underdog heading to Buffalo on Sunday afternoon. Reporting with the Steelers on the south side, Mike Fenner for the Black and Gold Nation.